One of the issues here in Afghanistan is that there is no ability for people who are doing museum work, library work, archival work to have any formal training. And they really do need assistance from places like the New York Public Library to do what we can to help the people to succeed because the collections here are so valuable and so important for our larger culture. The Kabul Public Library, it's a very interesting place. You can see, you know, material damage through various bombings and things like that. But they have severe preservation issues because they're just kind of more concerned with um, trying to keep the material from being stolen. As you enter the National Museum of Afghanistan, you are presented with a statement, the nation stays alive when its culture stays alive. You know, it's, it's particularly poignant to see this kind of message as you walk in and you're surrounded by ruins. And so I feel that I, even just as a volunteer, will have an ongoing role. It makes the New York Public Library's mission so much wider. Part of it has to do with um, education and um, helping people see that all these various things, whether they're objects, books, documents, that they're all part of what creates the fabric of the culture.